What's up everyone and welcome to the channel. If you're new, my name is Michelle and we are going to be reacting to the last The Lord of the Rings movie today. It's The Return of the King. And I must say, Sam? I mean, I think I said it last reaction, but I'm going to reiterate it. Is my favorite character. He, when you really think about it, where would the story go without Sam at Frodo's side? Because with the comments were so lovely to tell me that the ring, the one ring's influence is getting stronger at, uh, alongside Sauron. So that's why it's like, it's, it's, the influence is so much stronger on Frodo as as everything as the story progresses so without Sam I really do wonder how quickly Frodo would have succumbed to the ring's influence on him bearing on him uh, it's, that speech Sam gave while they were in Gondor was so beautiful it's one of the best speech is about the good in the world and and how the good is worth fighting for no matter how immeasurable the odds might feel and probably are you keep going because you know there's good out there you believe there's good out there you believe it's worth fighting for it's worth dying for and stories that really zero in on those themes will always have a relevance in in reality because there's so much truth to that and and i don't know that speech from sam i was listening it listening to it as a uh this morning on i uh, had it playing on my computer and i just went right back to that spot <laughs> i literally just fast forward to that scene where he where he saves frodo from giving over the ring and it's it's such a relevant speech and I think it, it it really does speak to the heartbeat of stories that while it may seem played out, it's a theme that always remains throughout time. Stories that, that connect to the fact that there's so much darkness in the world, but we keep going, we keep living, we keep making families and, and continue continue on because that's part of the good in the world and, and, and you believe it's worth it. The joy, the love, the camaraderie, the family and stories that highlight that, that champion that will always, in my opinion, have a place in media and it should always be told. I don't think it should ever stop being told. And so shout out to that because I feel like that was relevant to the story of Lord of the Rings, but I do feel like it's one of those speeches that addresses the macro, like out, like when you, it's like it breaks the fourth wall in a way of a story and it remains relevant to how, like the, 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 the books, the TV shows, the movies, the plays, the ballets, all of it, how, how those stories are, are always in cycle and will never go out of style, so to speak, <laughs> because it resonates to so many people as to why they do what they do, why they get up every day, no matter what happens or whatever comes their way, they keep trucking on. And I do believe that it's for the things we love. And, and that's what, that speech, I don't know, maybe this is a little too, it's a little too much for an intro, but that's what that speech made me feel just listening to, I listened to it this morning, it's like, there's so much truth to that. It's, to me, that speech has been the highlight of, of the story thus far. Let me touch on other characters because I can go on and on about Sam and that speech. But yes, Sam is, is, it, it's like I said, it, it's just, where would the story be without him if he wasn't eavesdropping on that night Gandalf told Frodo to run and was by Frodo's side and, ref and, and not only that, if he hadn't stuck by him, even when Frodo tried to push him away, he just clings on to him. Good folk, man. That's just good folk right there. <laughs> That's just good people. You need people like that in your life. Oh, Sam. Now, can I just say I love the little bond that Gimli and Aragorn and Legolas have. Like, they're there. Well, I don't think Aragorn participated. It was more so a competition between Legolas and 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 uh, Gimli, but I love the brotherhood essentially. And I like that the story, no matter how dreary or dour things are, these characters still find fun, so to speak, joy. Uh, I don't know. It feels like whenever characters do that, there's a hope that the odds in front of them are 
they're not insurmountable so to speak they can be conquered they're not they're not giving in like i feel like those little games of i killed this much you killed this much i feel like that's them believing and hoping that there is a way to be defeat all of these guys and it it, it without saying it like i don't know i just i i, I feel good <laughs> when when they're doing that and there's just people the, all these all these creatures just coming at them and they're still playing around it gives you hope that there is a way for them to defeat them and shout out to the ents y'all came through y'all slow as a motherfucker but y'all came through <laughs> and it really feels like we're getting a, a second chance you know how they showed us how elrond and isildur had a chance how everyone came together against Sauron, all of the people of the world united i feel like we're slowly moving towards a second chance where all of the people of the world no matter their species race everyone's coming together to protect middle earth that's the feeling i'm getting that it's that we're moving towards and the 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 second chance or the redoing that will be presented to the characters is the destruction of the ring the one ring so that that that's my feeling i feel like we're it's a retelling in a way but with different characters some the same some new and it's the new ones that are sort of the variable like the constants are the constants but you're getting new variables in order to shift the story in a different way uh, and I do believe that this will end with the ring being destroyed. I hope. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into this last one. I'm, I'm excited. The Return of the King. I'm assuming this that that title is in reference to Aragorn, uh, who I adore. I, I just adore his warrior spirit and his his wisdom I, I do feel like he's a very wise character who carries himself with m a lot of honor and pride even though he is sort of rejected certain uh inheritance to him but you can understand where it comes from and i, I do believe upon boromir's death speaking of boromir before i come off of aragorn let me just finish up with Aragorn and then I'm going to jump into Boromir but uh Aragorn I do feel like upon Boromir's death he did make a promise not to abandon their people and so I do believe him I think the return of the king very much signals that Aragorn will take up the mantle um not just as a way to honor Boromir's sacrifice and his death and everything he went through but because he knows it's the right thing to do and there is a him overcoming his own internal fears i believe now boromir i loved that backstory we got from him i feel like in the first movie listen i never hated boromir i always understood why he, i just clowned him a lot because <laughs> he was just set up to be that character that was influenced the strongest out of the entire fellowship and it makes sense i i feel like in my opinion it does feel like he would be the most susceptible to it given everything he's 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 holding on for so so long um protecting gondor the weight of his his father's expectations and protecting his people it does seem that the ring holding such having such a hold on him and and it just felt like there's a desperation in, in boromir understandably so that allowed the ring to to just influence him in a, in a way that was stronger than everyone else so i never i never thought boromir was necessarily wrong he was just being influenced by this very freakishly powerful supernatural ring i mean what do you want him to do <laughs> so seeing that backstory in the in in last movie of boromir and and getting to know his brother Faranir, create a father <laughs> um yeah, oh i completely forgot yeah Faranir did really beat the shit out of Gollum and Smeagol and I feel bad for Smeagol because it felt we watched him work so hard to sort of exercise Gollum in a way not necessarily exercise him but take control over his body and then 
it just went to hell in a handbasket and now Gollum is in full effect and so my hope is he, whatever he does does not harm Sam wise I hope so I don't know where he's leading them or who the she he was referring to at the end of the last movie is but um we gotta watch out for Gollum and hope Smeagol comes through I don't know what help Smeagol can receive at this point. I really hope it doesn't just end with him dying or sacrificing himself. I wish there was a way for him to reclaim what was lost. Oh, I kind of, now this is, this is, this is gonna end on, this intro is gonna end on a sour note because I really do feel bad for Smeagol. It's like, ugh. Let's just get into this reaction and hope Gollum is is like fully like I just hope there's a way back for him. I, I have hope for his character, but I get the feeling that he may sacrifice himself to protect Sam or or Frodo in the end. Or he's just killed. I, I just I wanna believe there's a way for him to survive, but I'm not sure. Let's get into this reaction. <laughs> grab a drink, grab a snack, whatever it is you like to do when you watch your favorite reaction. Just get comfortable and let's get to. Oh, goodness. Oh! Smeagol! I've got one! Smeagol! I've got a fish me! Oh, this shit's gonna end sad, isn't it? Oh, no. Oh, Smeagol. You gonna break my heart. Oh, that's the that's what we saw in the intro in the first movie. So it's Deagle who picked it up. Oh, Smeagol, no! I wonder what happened to Deagle. Oh shit! Oh! Oh my goodness! No! Oh, Smeagol. I'm assuming they're brothers. He done choked his own brother out. I'm assuming that's his brother. Don't you say my precious. Oh my god. Come down, Saruman. And your life will be spared. Save your pity and your mercy. I have no use for it. Ah! <gasps> oh, did he? I thought he burned a, a horse alive. I was about to say. You need not follow him. You were not always as you are now. You were once a man of Rohan. Come down. Is he crying? Grima, come down. Be free of him. Free? He will never be free. Someone's about to kill Grima. <laughs> oh no. You your and there it goes. You're not gonna find out anything. Legolas, you couldn't... If you were gonna shoot anybody, Legolas, you should have shot that nigga in the, 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 the leg and had him fall over and collect him. You know, screw Grima. Oh, Couldn't happen to a better person, huh? The nurse. The nurse. The spectres. Sneaker. Losing his nerve. No. Never. Smeagol hates nasty horses. Smeagol wants to see them. Dead. Oh God, please. And when they go in, there's no coming out. She must eat. Or she gets as filthy oxes. No. Not very nice at all. You know, maybe I I was hoping in the intro there was a way. She throws away the bones and the empty clothes. He's gonna hear. 
You treacherous thing. Okay, okay, Sam. I'm not mad at it. Yes. Oh, yeah. Because y'all need a handle. Leave him alone. this by ourselves, Sam. Not without a guide. I need you on my side. That's why he will look, he wants to kill him because he is on your side, but well, so will we just wait around for the little creep to kill somebody? Come, Smeagol. Y'all need to tie Smeagol up. Get some rope. No, see, we gotta handle Smeagol's ass. I'm sorry, Smeagol, Gollum, whatever you wanna be called. We gon' we gonna have to handle something there. Tie his ass up. Take his hands. Chop him off or something. Do something, y'all. Who is you? Oh. The stars are veiled. Shit. <laughs> like lust. How am I supposed to know it's you if I don't see your hair? Does he just sleep with his eyes open? Are you mad? I just want to look at it. Look at him for what? One, one more time. Pippin. Mary, get up and take that bitch from him. What is going on? Gandalf, fuck shit's happening. I need you to wake up. Oh God, let it go. Drop that bitch, drop that bitch. <laughs> oh shit, everyone move. What did you see? A tree. Was it an int? Oh. Mm -hmm. I saw him. I could hear his voice in my head. What did you tell him? Pippin saw in the Palantir a glimpse of the enemy's plan. Sauron moves to strike the city of Minas Tirith. He will raise Minas Tirith to the ground before he sees a king return to the throne of men. Tell me, why should we ride to the aid of those who did not come to ours? Nigga, now is not the time. Now is not the time for that. I ride for Minas Tirith. I won't be going alone. Of all the inquisitive hobbits Peregrine took, you are the worst. <laughs> He's like, Mary and Pip, drag your asses with me. <laughs> oh, how far is Ministeris? Three days' ride, as the Nazgul flies. And you better hope we don't have one of those on our tail. <gasps> Lovely. We'll see each other soon. Won't we? I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Run, Shadowfax. Show us the meaning of haste. <laughs> Show us the meaning of haste. I like that. <laughs> Oh, I hate seeing them split up. <laughs> He's always followed me everywhere I went since before we were tweens. <laughs> I would get him into the worst sort of trouble. Now he's gone. Just like Frodo and Sam. One thing I've learned about hobbits, they are most hardy folk. Um, she's like staring at my soul for a second there. What? Oh, 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 that's so sad. <laughs> we cannot delay. Oh, oh, my lady. oh, oh. Arwen, oh, okay. She's made her choice. I respect it. You have the gift of foresight. What did you see? 
I looked into your future and I saw death. There is also life. You saw my future. You saw my son. That future is almost gone. But it is not lost. Nothing is certain. So what she saw was... Did she like inherit the gift of foresight from her father? And she was able to see her own future? That's how she knew she had a son? Lord Dennis Hall is borrowing his father. To give him news of his beloved son's death would be most unwise. And do not mention further. And say nothing about Aragon either. <laughs> Just don't talk. In fact, it's better if you don't speak at all about him too. <laughs> oh goodness, poor Pip. He tries his best. And that's all anyone can ever ask. Hail Denisor, son of Exelion, lord and steward of Gondor. I come with tidings in this dark hour. Perhaps you come to tell me why my son is dead. Actually, we weren't even going to mention that. Pip. Boromir died to save us. Gandalf gave you one, well, not one, he gave you a few. How did you escape and my son did not? So mighty a man as he was. The mightiest man may be slain by one arrow and Boromir was pierced by many. Get up. <laughs> I know. No, I, don't, I, I think Pip did the right thing by telling him. You still have friends. You are not alone in this fight. Send word to Theoden of Rohan. Light the beacons. With your left hand, you would use me as a shield against Mordor. And with your right, you would seek to supplant me. Word has reached my ears of this Aragorn, son of Arathorn. Authority is not given to you to deny the return of the king, steward. Ooh. Rule of Gondor is mine, and no others. Sir, if you don't get your ass up off that chair, we got real shit to deal with. He would even use his grief as a cloak. How is it that you can walk out and look and see that shit and still decide to be an ass web? You don't see them red clouds? That is coming for you, sir. The old wisdom born out of the West was forsaken. Kings made tombs more splendid than the houses of the living. Uh -huh. Typical. The line of kings failed. The white tree withered. The rule of Gondor was given over to lesser men. So they did everything but rule and take care of their people. Imagine looking out and seeing that shit. Ain't no way. Mr. Fertile? It. It's just a feeling. That golem's on some fuck shit. I don't think I'll be coming back. Oh! Yes, you will. Of course you will. That's just morbid thinking. We're going there and back again. Going there and back again. You'll see. Oh, my precious babies! Oh, Sam and Frodo. <laughs> Pray for them, y'all. Pray for me, because I swear to God, if they die, if one of them die, oh, God, pray for my little heart. It can't take it. Oh, shit. They better not kill him. What in the hell? Some weird-ass looking art. Oh, but sun shines on him. And there are flowers of bloom on his head. He's got a crown again. Can there be more obvious symbolism going on here about... <laughs> right? That shit got dark real fast. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, shit. They say, yeah, 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 don't get too hopeful. Darkness. Is he smoking, uh, pip shit? <laughs> God of the shit. Boy, you choking on that damn pipe. It's so quiet. It's the deep breath before the plunge. A 
I don't want to be in a battle. Waiting on the edge of one I can't escape is even worse. Is there any hope, Gandalf, for Frodo and Sam? There never was much hope. Excuse me? Oh, I was about to say, like, are you about to hit me with some shit? Like, yeah, when they destroy it, anyone who's there dies or some shit. One has yet to reveal his deadliest servant. The one who will lead Mordor's armies in war. Who is you? The Witch King of Angmar. Ooh, a Witch King. I kind of like that. He is the Lord of the Nazgul. Minas Morgul is his last. Ooh, very Emerald City looking. Oh, <laughs> the dead city looks like the Emerald City. Frodo, keep it moving. That's not terrifying at all. We have found it. The way into Mordor. Oh shit, those are stairs. Climb. No, don't climb. Don't you do it. Frodo, listen to your instincts. That little shit's leading into you a trap. What are we looking at? Frodo? Frodo, my, my, my baby Frodo. What's going on with my wee little hobbit, y'all? Frodo! Not that way! No! Call him. My good lord Jesus, what is happening? Oh shit. So how do we escape something that flies? Can y'all not come out? <laughs> oh shit. Go back in. Who asked for this? <laughs> they look awful. Oh shit. I'm gonna stay hidden. And the ring better not be on some st Don't you sniff anything out. Oh, I thought- I swear I thought he was gonna- <laughs> I smell hobbit. And swamp dweller. It's been very quiet across the river. We've sent scouts to Kier Andros. If the orcs attack from the north, we'll have some warning. Oh, they swimming up to something. Uh, we no see the fire through the smoke? Fog? Hello? Hello? They're on your doorstep! Yes! Oh my god! Oh, they're about to get reamed out by these ugly looking shits! Oh shit. It's too late. They're right there. They're, look at that. They're all. No, it's too late. This ambush worked quite well, huh? And it begins. Ooh. Oh, they're coming in from the. Oh. It's over. It's over. Oh, oh, he's still climbing up. Is that a pyre? Are we lighting the pyre? <clears throat> Don't look suspicious. Don't look suspicious. Yeah. Oh, okay, get down. Get off of it. Mm-hmm. Clever sending word. So they just all stay out here ready to... God bless. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's one way to, like, get a message across without having to travel very far. This high up above the clouds, y'all got signals. Airborne? <laughs> the beacons have been ascended! The beacons are lit! Gun 
knuckles for eight. Let's go. Don't you start. And Rohan will answer. There we go. Master the Rohirrim. Clever, Gandalf. Clever, clever. Come ride with us. Just to the encampment. It's tradition for the women of the court to farewell the men. Mm. Yeah, sure. Riders of Rohan! Oaths you have taken! Now, fulfill them all! To Lord and land! Yeah. I got chills. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're still fighting these ugly, stank looking orcs. Ew! I just want to set them on fire. Ooh, yes! It's like a little kill box type thing. Please don't die while you're telling her to fall back. No, oh, this guy's just dying. Oh, they're gonna finish him off. The age of men is over. I think not, you ugly ass bitch. I hate to say that you all don't touch the horses, please. Is that Gandalf? Ooh! Oh my good lord. Not the horse, you ugly sons of bitches! Oh, oh my god! Gandalf, kill him! Yes! Yes. Shine a light on those uglies. You've seen Frodo and Sam? Where? When? In Athelion. Not two days ago. Fadimir, tell me everything. Tell me all you know. Why does he look like the actor from Borgia who played Juan? Is it him? <laughs> I did what I judged to be right. He looks like Juan. Come, Master. Don't you try it. Mr. Frodo! Get back, you! Don't touch him! You trick ass bitch. He wants it. Smeagol sees it in his eye. Very soon, he will ask you for it. Oh no. He's probably going to ask to take the burden. And one will take it from you. Smeagol, you little shit. I swear to God, if you rip Frodo and Sam apart. To think I had a heart for Smeagol. From this hour henceforth, until my Lord release me, or death take me. Death better not touch you, little pip. Will not yield the river in Pelennor and fort. Osgiliath must be retaken. So you're going to send soldiers out there to die? Much must be risked in war. Okay, but not wasted. Is there a captain here who still has the courage to do his lord's will? You wish now that our places have been exchanged, that I had died and Boromir had lived. Yes. Jesus. I wish that. What an awful father. What an awful human being. Poor guy. Since you were robbed of Boromir, I will do what I can in his stead. If I should return, think better on me, father. 
That will depend on the manner of your return. Pip, please. Ugh, I thought Pip was going to cuss his ass out. <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel so bad for Faramir. Is he about to throw it over the... Oh, is he destroying it? Is he making it seem like he ate it all? What are you up to? Sneaking off, are we? All right, all right. I'm sorry to wake you, Mr. Vogel. We have to be moving on. It's gone. The elven bread. What? He took it. He must have. Sneagle. No, no. He doesn't eat it. He can't have taken it. Crumbs. What's this? You little shit. Filthy lie! Oh, you stinking two faced snake! Oh, oh my god, Sam! Oh my, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it to go so far. I was just so, so angry. Here, just, just rest a bit. He's gonna offer to take the ring for him. That thing around your neck. I could help a bit. Oh shit. I carry it for a while. Carry it for a while. I'm so annoyed. Get away! I don't want to keep it. I just want to help. I'm so annoyed right now. Shut up, you! Uh, go away! Get out of here! No, Sam. It's you. He's poisoned you against me! You can't help me anymore. Go home. This man was willing to drown to stay by your side. Oh my god. I hate this. He has protected you and saved you so many times. You're gonna go forward with that little wretch. I get it, he knows the way, but you're gonna go forward with that little wretch and abandon Sam like this? Frodo! Frodo! Oh! You know, I went in hoping there was a way to like save Smeagol and like reverse this, but you, my patience is run thin, if at all, if I have any left. And poor Faramir to go off to his death all these soldiers are about to go off to their death and for what such a waste come sing me a song this behind the world Or am I about to watch them die while Pip's into the background? Until the stars are all alight. Song, food, and death. Oh, shit. Fate. They're about to die. We don't have to see it, right? Oh, that is a... I feel like we're only gonna see the aftermath. That was a beautiful decision not to... zero in on their passing. Or like, show it. Just the blood off of his lips was enough. That road there. Where does that lead? To doom and death. That is the road to the dim alt. That mountain is evil. So we are going to steer clear of it. Capiche? 
We do not go anywhere near this path. The horse doesn't even want to be near it. What is that? I don't know. Let's find some food. See, that's what happens when you stare too long at shit. You start imagining something. <laughs> oh, good lord. Oh. My lord Elrond, I come on behalf of one whom I love. Arwen is dying. She will not long survive the evil that now spreads from Mordor. As Sauron's power grows, her strength wanes. Oh, shit. Arwen's life is now tied to the fate of the ring. A fleet of Corsair ships sails from the south. They'll be in the city in two days. Well, yeah. You're outnumbered, Aragorn. There are those who dwell in the mountain. The mountain of evil? No, we're not going into the mountain. We made that clear. You would call upon them to fight. They answer to no one. They will answer to the king of Gondor. Hey, now? Anduril, a flame of the west, forged from the shards of Narsil. Take it! Take it! There we go! Oh, that is a long-ass sword. Damn. Put aside the ranger. Become who you are born to be. Take the demolved road. Yeah, we ain't got a choice. Arwen, Ar Ar Arwen is down. We gotta go. <laughs> we ain't messing around with Arwen's life. Are those skulls in the wall? The very warmth of my blood seems stolen away. Interesting way to say your blood ran cold. <laughs> Love it. Oh, oh my goodness. This, the, uh, see these horses. Uh, I don't like the horses. <laughs> these horses said, I know evil when I feel it. I am out. That's not ominous. What is it? Skulls. What do you see? Death. I see shapes of men. Who enters my domain? The king. One who will have your allegiance. The dead do not suffer the living to pass. You will suffer me. Oh. oh, these are a lot of bodies. King of Gondor may command me. That line was broken. So you thought. Uh. It has been remade. Fight for us. And regain your honor. So, the dead are gonna fight? Is that... What say you? So, ghosts, ghosts can fight? I see y'all have no choice. Get your asses out there and fight. Let's go. You got a debt to repay. Y'all ran the last time. <laughs> fight! And I will release you from this living death! What say you? This is what we get for relying on ghost. Man, bitch ass ghost. So what now? Well, shit. The ghost? The ghosts are rallying? 
we fight. Y'all couldn't say that in there, you bitch ass ghost. Oh my god, I choked them out. He's just hanging from his horse. Mmm, Where your bitch ass daddy at? Release the prisoners! Get them up! Is that what Oh my god, that is disgusting. <gasps> no! He's alive. Oh, is he? The line has ended! Shut up. Abandon your boat! Flee! Flee by your life! Flee? Oh! oh. <laughs> Thank you, Gandalf. Don't flee. Prepare for battle! Right? Like, Fire. what the hell? Oh. Just let everything descend into chaos and abandon your post? Look at that, you got women and children. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, Gandalf. This is no place for a hobbit. Ooh. Oh, shit. Yes, Gandalf. Yes. Oh, y'all better not touch a hair on Gandalf's head. Look at him. Look at him in his fit. His all white and whooping ass. Let's go. Pip, pip, skindly day! Guard of the Citadel, indeed. Now back up the hill, quickly. Quick. Go, 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 my sweet, sweet hobbit. <laughs> Bring up the wolf's head. What in the hell is he? What, 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 what? Is that hellfire in there? Oh, great. I gotta get to the next part. Is that hellfire? And a special shout out to the patrons. Midgey, Jenny, Tawny, Seep Through Battle Monsters, Tyler, Juan, Beta, Freddy, Marcella, Gabrielle, Alicia, Carmdoll, Sushi Senpai, Cozy Cobra, Gazelle, Maddie, Victoria, Queen Lydia, Dexter, Chair Shark Cat, That Weird Person, Shirley, Salty, Cami, Wanyo, JK, Klaus, Cersei, Kacha, Nina, Christina, Donovan, Haley, Nicole, Lauren, Sayla, Kane, D, Nathan, Casey, Liam, Pierre, Gucci Glam, Autumn, Soapy, Morgan, Jordan, Zach, Nandy, Jess, Alexander, Reen, Max, Ricky, Jake, Isabella, Bella, Amario, Jammy, Jesse, Mate, Jalil, Melissa, Teddy, Sebastian, Anne, Van, Crystal, Soul, Jacob, Rosa, Aslan, Jordan, Cool Gal, Nan, Brat P, Bobo, Lucas, Maria, Ashlyn, Alex, Mads, Favisha, Karen, Noah, Bree, Jackie, Sammy, Alexander, Erica, Julie vs. Jail, JD, Jacob, Sarah, Melissa, Christine, Oog, James, Valerie, Julia, Oliver, Sam, Michael, Mr. Nobody, Jamie, Harper, Miss CJ, Caitlin, Natalie, Velasca, Psych J, Ethan, Miko, Emma, Sam, Lee, Nina, Jay, Arafinwe, Melanie, Brenda, Nate, Becky, Courtney, Asante, Mel, Matthew, Ted, Axel, Diego, Santina Moore, Cup of Tea Queen, Adrenic, Marina, Matthew, Michael, Jan, Lachase, Marty, The Winter Times, Jenny, Zach, Dominic, Asher, Mazin, Wendy, Ash, Valerio, Zachary, David, Thomas, Monique, Kage, Abby, Leon, Half Mayan, Darren, King Batty Boy, Jean, Nathaniel, Anna, Greg, Kevin, Dennis, Rachel, Karen, Christian, Jim, Rob, King, P3, Danny, Girl, Jason, Marcus, Omar, Randy, Kuehler, Anna, Dwayne, Logan, Sarah, Alex, B. Park, Seb, Samuel, Vesser, David, Jaden, Viliana, Bilil, George, Joshua, and Lima. Thank you all so much, everyone. Take care.